that's horrendous. I, I, you know, the the main reasoning for it is because they believe that that is the way that Hamas is still uh, smuggling in arms, but. When you talk to the people of Gaza, what's actually happening is that's one of the few ways that they're still being able to actually get in goods. Um, and because of the siege that's happened, all of the goods there have been marked up a lot, and so people aren't even getting the basic necessities to live. And the, although the tunnels are not um, legitimate in a lot of ways, they are one of the few ways that some of the needed supplies are getting into the country. I think it's disgusting, and I can't believe that our government's helping to stop the tunnels, which is the only lifeline to Gaza. I mean, people are starving. They let in one third, if not less, of the aid trucks needed in Gaza. They have no water, no food, no medical supplies. I mean, besides the Israeli bombs, people continue to die every day of lack of medicine, nutrition, food. It's one of the most densely populated and impoverished places in the world. The U.S. government's helping to starve out people. I feel very sad and very impressed because I think that uh, the Egypt government should be brother because it's Muslim as well as, it, as uh, Gaza people so they should support Palestinians and not to build a wall a wall against uh, I mean against freedom against it is a sort of new apartheid we, we still we, we live a new apartheid we live a new apartheid and we should boycott the first thing to do is to stand up for justice, to support Palestinian people and to boycott Israeli goods. It's unconscionable. I cannot believe that they are going to build a wall against the people who are in open prison. People who have been massacred in this open prison. It's unconscionable. I'm sure Egyptian people don't know about it and would not like it. And if they know about it, they would, they would be very much against it. It's criminal. They shouldn't do that. And it wouldn't be happening if the United States weren't at least not objecting to it. The United so, States, yeah, and Egypt it's a shame are both that complicit. We are from a country that would promote, allow, and promote that kind of uh, separation is it's, 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 it's criminal. Uh, I think it's a terrible tragedy and I, I'm very upset to hear that the United States is uh, supporting it. The, the Corps of Engineers are helping build it. We're giving, I, I think I read the other day, uh, some 30 billion dollars or 30 million or 30 billion, I'm not quite sure, to, to help build this wall. And I think it's just going to further trap in the Palestinians. They can't, they already can't get the goods and commodities they need through the any border crossing, whether in Israel, Egypt, or elsewhere, and then to cut them off from the only uh, supply they have. I think it's terrible, but I also think that the Palestinians will find a way to improvise. I don't think you can cut cut people off from life without with them just taking it. I think they're going to stand up and find another way. So, As a Palestinian, isn't it? I, I, can't, I don't have to describe my feelings. But I'm very surprised, actually, a question from the Western democracies, regardless of who runs politically Gaza, how can we allow one and a half million people no food, no medicine? No shelter. This is what's the problem. They say they're there? building the wall for security reasons and to keep from criminal activity. Smuggling food into a territory is not criminal activity. That's just ridiculous. And if you're building a wall to stop people from getting food and the necessities they need to live, it, I, I, I think it, I think that's criminal. In in this war, nobody is supposed to have a wall that separation. There is no wall that because the wall are nothing, because our spirit goes up for the wall. So it's a crazy thing to put, to make a wall. Yeah.